What we're doing today, we're doing looking at the uh, defects in this deck. And right over here, we have um, a spall and some delaminated concrete we're going to look at. This is the laminated concrete, and as I tap here, you'll hear a hollow sound. That's the lamination. I tap here, it's a solid sound. Here's hollow. Solid. And that's the type of uh, inspection we do on this, and we measure all these, and that's how we got the report on how many square feet of um, the lamination we have on top of the deck, we did the same thing on the lower part, and I'll show uh, measure and estimate the amount of crackage we have on the top of this deck. Yeah, the cracking in the thing, it lets water seep into the deck, and when it freezes, it also um, causes more delamination and also rust, causing the steel to rust. And we'll see that on the lower side. We repaired this deck several times over the last uh, few decades. What kind of repairs? It's mainly you see these patching here, where we actually cut out sections of the deck and uh, re-poured them, and replace the reinforcing steel in them. What the uh, plans are is to take this deck out and uh, fill it in, or put another deck back in its place. We're leaning more toward just filling the deck in and using this for a park area or a parking lot. It depends on uh, what the public and the uh, vendors and the, the city citizens want. It, it is going to have some impact and uh, it's going to be some challenges. Um, the asphalt parking lot over here will stay open. This part over here will be closed. We'll probably try to do it as a winter project, doing most of the work from probably January through March before the uh, market gets uh, busy again. On filling, filling this one in, we're looking at about a million and a half, is estimate just to take this deck out and fill it in and um, either put a green space or new asphalt parking spaces there, either one. This is the elevated deck on this end that the cars are parked on. It goes out to the street. We're about 160 feet from the, uh, from the street back this way. This is some of the temporary repairs we'll put in due to a uh, deteriorating um, girder. This is a temporary wooden bit that carries the load where the beams are deteriorated. And right over here, this is, I can demonstrate what's going on up there. This is another location where you have pack rust. And what is happening is the, the beam is rusting away and becomes thinner and thinner. As it becomes thinner and thinner, you keep losing strength. Your beam keeps getting smaller and smaller because of rust. It just, you can see how much we lost there. And we measure this thickness. see all the pack rust that's falling down. The rest, after we get past here, the rest of these beams out here are going to be all concrete beams. And as we look up here, we can see the reinforcing and the um, beam here. You see the steel hanging out rusting. We're going to, uh, this area gets taken out. This part of the deck gets taken out here and filled in. The dirt? This area where we're standing at, yes. Okay. And what it is, this was going to require two bulkhead walls. That's a bulkhead wall there. What it is, we're putting a bulkhead wall on that side, and the plan is to leave a light well for that building over there. And the bulkhead wall will go across here about where that temporary bin is. And all the in between this area, uh, we're gonna crush this deck in and fill this in with soil. And um, on the top side, wherever they want me to use it for, I can fix them. Parking lot or a green area or a park. And I'll say, like I can say, this goes on to the street. This was used um, 
and back in the 80s for a National Guard training and storage area. And they also had a rifle range in the last bay over there. And later in the 80s, the city started using this. National Guard moved out. They used it for storage. It really never was designed to be a dry place. And you see how damp it is down here. A lot of this concrete you see laying around the floor is from um, the freeze thaw cycles we had this winter and the traffic. And this deck is deteriorating and falling apart. I've been working on this deck passionate since I've been with the city for 24 years. I'm, I probably did uh, 10 repair projects so far on this deck. Today we're taking out the um, parking deck. We have a machine here that's crushing the concrete. He uh, came in today and we should probably finish most of the crushing by the weekend. And then the contractor is going to begin hauling out the uh, debris and separating the steel from the concrete to recycle all of it. This project's been on the radar probably for like 10 years and we've been monitoring the deck. Uh, this deck is lightly uh, constructed. It never was intended to hold but three-ton vehicle, and it's um, seriously deteriorated over the last few years. And actually, we had to close the deck 10 days before we started the project because a hole developed through the deck. Um, originally, this was part of the armory. Uh, it was probably back in the 19, early 1930s this was constructed, and it was used to park military vehicles in. Um, up until about 1970 or so, they stopped using it and uh, moved elsewhere. And it's kind of been sitting since then because it's, um, it's almost like a confined space. We wouldn't build anything like this today, but from the um, technology in 1930, it was probably okay. Um, it, was, it was really hard use for this area. And all, it, all this area was was a basement of a building that was removed probably 90 years ago or so, 100 years, and they just capped off the basement area with a concrete deck to make a parking area for military vehicles. Uh, certainly now that it has started, I think everyone realizes the uh, severity of the situation, that really that this was a safety project and that it had to happen. So um, I think that people are very accepting of that fact that this was something that was a necessary evil and it had to happen. And at the end of this, that we will certainly have, uh, you know, a better, safer space. In the interim, we certainly have some uh, vendors and some businesses uh, that feel affected by it because it does look like a construction zone. Uh, so from our standpoint, we continue to try to do what we can to uh, communicate that we're open. We haven't changed our business operations at all. So Tuesday through Saturday, we're open seven to two. Parking has gotten a little bit interesting. So uh, we only have this small lot that's now open for the public. Uh, so we have been trying to work with communications and marketing and other parts of the city to really get the word out uh, that parking is limited, but we still do have it here. Um, and we are also trying to work on extra marketing efforts, social media pushes uh, to really let people know that we're open and we are here and we still hope that everyone comes down to the market. Well, it's, it's actually designed to take down concrete. It's a um, hydraulic claw on there and it just crushes the concrete. And it also, um, this is really great because it can separate your steel where the concrete just falls off the steel, especially on this deck where the concrete so deteriorated, it's, it's a whole lot easier for the contractors to go take care of it. We brought it down 13th Street and there's a uh, garage door. We could barely um, bring the machine in. It's one of your larger track hoes that you'll see. With, with that machine, you see the claw is mounted on the uh, track hose. Yeah, this is city funded and it's about $1.7 million project. And this is the phase one of this project. Phase two was looked like we got an earmark for 2023 and it'll redo the outside of the market area, make it much more inviting for the uh, public and um, for the patrons using the market. Um, there are a couple of things that we're trying to do um, to kind of ease the pain a little bit. If you're here on Saturdays, 
please look for our bag couriers from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. We've started a bag courier service where we have volunteers on hand every Saturday uh, to help you carry your bags. We understand that people might have to park a little bit farther out. We know that parking is one of the biggest things affected in this. Um, so we really want to try to ease the pain of that so we have volunteers on hand that are going to be um, there to help you. For instance, this past Saturday, uh, one of the volunteers helped uh, carry um, a big, large 30-pound box of apples to uh, one of our patrons' cars. Um, so, you know, we really want to, like I said, make it easier for everybody, make it, um, you know, as good of an experience as possible while we go through this growing pain. Um, and so um, please utilize the bag couriers um, on Saturday days if you need a little bit of extra help with your bags. We appreciate your patience and we're getting it done fast as we can. Thank you.